Dio Dada. Good morning. Happy Memorial Day Monday. Um, hopefully you enjoyed your weekend. I'm making my coffee, instant coffee, with some unflavored collagen and some canned coconut cream. Did you have coffee? Cold brew coffee. So just black? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Matt usually does black in the morning. This has been my routine for the past like three weeks and I love it. That is my morning coffee. So I didn't mention we have a full day of eating for you guys. I'm gonna be making, Theo said. I'm gonna go join him in a sec. I'm gonna be making a fun lunch. I'm still gonna decide what I'm making and we're gonna be making some curry for dinner. So I'll show you exactly what I'm making and the ingredients in all of those meals. I will see you at lunch. Mega just got back from Whole Foods. Yeah, these are Matt's favorite olives. And I am having another coffee. Bulletproof. What's in it? Coconut milk, collagen, ghee. So usually when I have two coffees, which I don't do barely ever, just like once a week. It's I like try. Mondays. I will take this with it, which is L-theanine. This helps you like focus a little bit when you have caffeine. It works with the caffeine. So instead of being like anxious and not able to focus, it narrows your focus on the computer screen for hours. On Mondays, I like using this. I do like 100 milligrams with my second coffee. So I started on lunch here. I am cooking up a bunch of eggs in some duck fat. And then I'm gonna be topping these tacos with some cherry tomatoes and some avocado I sliced up. All we have is turkey bacon. So I got some turkey bacon going the air fryer with this. Brand. And then these are the two wrap options. So these coconut wraps, they are just coconut meat, the water, and some coconut oil. And then these egg things, which we love. They're not super sturdy. These are really sturdy. These are not super sturdy, but I like them a lot. Matt likes them too. And it's just cauliflower, egg, olive oil, salt. So super simple. And I think I'm also going to air fry some of this or maybe saute some of it in some more duck fat and add this to the tacos as well. And I'll show you when everything is complete. Mega's finishing cooking lunch and I'm having these Brazil nuts as a pre-lunch snack. So recently we soaked and dehydrated Brazil nuts and pecans. The benefit to soaking and dehydrating them is that it removes the phytic acid, which inhibits some of the mineral absorption so like nuts are really high in minerals, but you can't really get all of them out. Just a little side note, it is probably impossible, I'm gonna say, to overdose on Brazil nuts with selenium. So many people say this, like if you, you have to eat one a day, if you have more than one Brazil nut a day, you, your brain explodes from selenium overdose. If that happened, then our bodies would be terrible functioning bodies, right? Sounds like a great evolutionary tactic. Yeah. Guys, so if you have too many Brazil nuts, brain explodes. We wouldn't be here. So this is everything that's going into the tacos. We got the eggs the bacon and the chicken that air fried and it crisped up, which is nice. I'm gonna chop that up. We got the toppings and then this is for Theo. I got some eggs and some avocado for him for lunch. So there it is guys, that is lunch. Beautiful, right? You can see the bacon, the egg, the chicken, the avocado, and I'm gonna give Matt some tomatoes on the side. I'm not sure if he wants the tomatoes. And mine is gonna look exactly the same. It took like five minutes to put together. <laughs> I'm just going to show you Matt's. And then along with mine, which is gonna be right here, I'm gonna have probably a little more. I'm gonna... We get these raw cashews from Whole Foods, which I love to have on hand for a nice snack. They're pretty filling too. Um, so I'm gonna have about that many cashews alongside my tacos that are gonna be very filling. It is 2 p.m. and I'm still pretty full from breakfast, so I'm gonna have one of these spin drifts. This is a new flavor, it is orange mango. It's pretty good. Um, I think their best flavor though is blackberry and then Matt loves the strawberry one. Too. It's just the juice and carbonated water, I believe. So really good ingredients and great for a, like a midday snack. He was awake, what a big boy. And this is gonna be the most delicious, easy recipe you'll ever make, I promise. Cause we're using the Instant Pot. And I'm making like one and a half times the recipe or like I'm just, a lot more because Theo loves it and I'm gonna meal prep some for him and for me for tomorrow too. And yeah, I'll show you what's in it right now. So this is everything that's gonna go in the Instant Pot right here. So we have a pound and a half of chicken and then we're gonna do broccoli, red bell pepper, this is an entire one, some bone broth, salt, turmeric, cumin, curry powder, and I'm gonna do chili powder this time. I don't normally do it, but I think Theo can handle maybe a little bit of spice. So this is all that's gonna go in it, except the star ingredient that I forgot to pull out. And we keep it in the fridge 
back here, canned coconut milk. And we keep it in the fridge because coconut milk solidifies at the top and then the water is all at the bottom and you can drain that off, which is where most of the sugars is. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like when I actually pop it open. Those are the macros. So it's not a lot of carbs. So I got the saute function going. Theo's watching Madagascar. Don't judge us. And reading a book. One to two tablespoons of ghee, I just eyeball whatever. We're gonna add a bunch of garlic. And we're not doing onion because Matt doesn't love onion. I think we just literally add everything. I add the spices first. You do like You to toast the spices up. That's an Indian tradition. So we're gonna go, there's not enough curry in here. We're gonna go about three tablespoons. This is just heavy on the curry powder, which is like a mix of a bunch of seasonings. So that's why I like to have it. It's really convenient. So it's turmeric, coriander, cumin, lemon peel, black pepper, lemon powder, cinnamon, garlic, cardamom. So we're doing three tablespoons. So that's a lot. It's a cheap way to make an Indian dish. A teaspoon of turmeric additional. That adds a nice color, nice flavor. A teaspoon of cumin. We're out of cumin. And if you ever watch like an Indian street food video, they always get like this paste going. That's with the base of the dish. So you mix the spices or in with the fat. Or if you just fat. grew up as an Indian. We're gonna do half a teaspoon, or I guess I did a full teaspoon of salt. Now we are literally just going to add the rest of the ingredients. So we're gonna do a pound and a half of chicken. This is one full bell pepper, like I mentioned, and you can slice it or dice it, whatever you want. See, I don't like to add broccoli to Instant Pots because it really, really like makes it mush. So what I'm gonna do with the broccoli is actually I'm gonna steam it on the side in some water and then I'm gonna add it to the final result. So it's still like nice and tender. And then we're gonna do about, this isn't fully thawed, but two thirds to a cup of some bone broth. So I'm just gonna stir this up, manual. Nine minutes should be good. And so it takes five minutes to come to pressure, nine minutes to cook, and then we're gonna do a five minute natural release. And while we wait, me and Theo are gonna share pork rinds. No, Julius, no, for Theo. Julius, no. Theo likes to feed Julius though, so. Theo, you, no, that's for you. No, Theo, that's for you. No, 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 no. No. And we got a sponsor for this video, guys, a Perfect Keto. And you may not recognize them because these are one of their new products. They have cookies and their cookies are really, really good. They have three flavors, chocolate chip, double chocolate, and peanut butter. And peanut butter is my favorite and chocolate chip is Matt's favorite. And I think Theo likes what I like, so he likes peanut butter too. He um, hasn't tried them. He hasn't tried them though. We wouldn't, we wouldn't give them to him, let's be honest. But we love them. Um, so linked below is the link that you can use to get to the deal, which is you can buy from one to five products and get up to 35% off. The more you buy, the more discount you get from the 25th yesterday through the 29th. They also have uh, collagen powder and their MCT oil powder chocolate flavor is my favorite. And on Instagram today, I asked you guys what kind of questions you had for this June 1st challenge we're starting. So we're doing a Whole Foods challenge. It's, it's like Whole30. You can't say that because she trademarked it and she'll sue you, we hear. Yeah, well, I wouldn't want to say that anyway. I said it's, it. It's not Whole30, it's a keto Whole Foods challenge. Yeah. And Matt said it. Um, so I wanted to know what you guys want to know. So Mega posted something about some questions on Instagram. Let's answer them. Does that mean no snacks? No, it does not mean no snacks. Th this is the thing, there's no hard and fast rules. There is a few, but it doesn't mean no snacks. It maybe means work on reducing the amount of snacks, but we snacked a lot while we did this. We did it this month and we're gonna do it again next month with you guys, but just whole food snacks. So not packaged bars, but we did pork rinds, fruit, berries mostly, dark chocolate. We got some whole coconuts that we like cracked and we would have those. And nuts. Will that still mean 20 carbs or less for keto? Could mean that, or you could experiment with increasing carbs a little bit. Since we're removing more foods and we're reducing it to only whole foods, I think it definitely makes sense to maybe increase the carbs a little, like 50 total carbs, something like that. Or else it could be too restrictive, but it could be different for everyone. So you gotta define what this challenge is for you. What keto foods can you not eat? Processed vegetable oils, packaged foods. Sweeteners. Sweeteners, so no erythritol, no stevia, monk fruit. Even like 85% dark chocolate with a little bit of added sugar, you can't have that. You can't have any added sugars. Butter, dairy, those are the big ones. Is this for the curve only? So we do have a membership site, jointhecurve.com. There's gonna be added stuff there. We're gonna we're gonna do some live streams. We're gonna do more like community accountability type of stuff on there. But no, it's not only for people that join the curve. What do you think will be the most difficult things to give up? Well, I did this for 30 days and the most difficult things to give up were sweetener in my coffee. Alcohol. Cause when you give up alcohol, that's when you want it more. Like I've easily gone months without drinking alcohol. 
but once you say you're giving it up, it like occasions come up and you want to drink. Is this a uh, buy food from Whole Foods and do keto or more like eat Whole Foods slash organic? A buying, Whole Foods <laughs> Buying only grocery store. grocery store Whole Foods. It's also not organic. It's just eating whole foods, foods that are whole, single ingredient foods. Even some foods that are combinations, I guess. That's where it gets a little gray area, combinations of whole foods. Theo. You want, you want the camera, right? There you have it. Now what are you gonna do? Oh, he wants the mic. So like those cauliflower wraps from today, that's a combination of whole foods, which I guess counts. So the Instant Pot is releasing the pressure and I told you we keep our coconut milk in the fridge and I'd show you what happens. So you can see the milk separates and I created a little hole right there so I could show you that you can just pour out all the water. And we've got our broccoli that's steamed. We'll add that in. That looks good, doesn't it? And that's really all there is to it. You just serve it up and then this is perfect. You could also serve it over some uh, riced cauliflower. That would be a really nice base. Theo before he gets his dinner. <laughs> Theo after he gets his dinner. So here is the completed dinner. It's definitely one of our favorites now, right? It's in the rotation. And we would have never made something like this if we weren't doing this whole um, whole 30 keto challenge. How much does it cost to join the challenge? It is absolutely free. We are even going to link below some stay away foods, right, Matt? Yes. Okay. Is this a part of the Whole30 that you've been doing? Yeah, so we started this um, April 29th, actually, and so we're done here in a couple days, and then we're just gonna roll right into one with like a day break, I think. Um, day to, of drinks. Day oh. of drinks, breaks. It's actually like a neighborhood party, so it's perfect timing. What would be the benefits of trying a Whole Foods challenge? I think Matt says it best when he's always like, you know, I need a break from something that I've just been having for years and years. We actually talk about this in our podcast from two Sundays ago. Um, I've had stevia and like some sort of packaged good or dessert several times a week for the past like two to three years. And so I think taking a break from that, recalibrating, see like, do I need these things? Am I just dependent on them? Are these just habits that I can break? Is Primal Kitchen Mayo allowed? Yes, it is because it uses avocado oil mayo. So that's a really good option. I've used that a couple times. Have you noticed any changes with your digestive system or skin with the challenge? Yeah, I have terrible digestion when I eat four ounces of nuts. So he dialed that back. Um, no, I haven't really noticed anything with my skin or my digestion. I haven't dialed it back. I just persevere through the pain. Oh, he just, he just keeps having the pain. Uh, do we have to sign up? No, you just have to be present with, and honest with yourself. And if you want to start this challenge, um, then have your parameters, like Matt's mentioned, like what are you going to keep in? What are you going to keep out? Just make it really black and white so that you know with yourself. So there's no like questioning. There's no like gray area. Like, can I have these? Should I have these? You know, when, when snacking and hunger strikes. How am I to live without my Keto Connect bars? You want some more curry? Well, it's only a 30 day challenge. So after 30 days, you can go ham on the Keto Connect bars. Is there gonna be a grocery list? No, we're not gonna have a grocery list. We might have a snack list though. Maybe a snack list. Is cheese included? No. So, I mean, technically, I guess cheese is a whole food, but we... I would say cheese is borderline. Yeah, we've been doing dairy-free, and I plan to continue to do dairy-free. I'm not sure about Matt, but do what works for you. For a lot of people, this is going to be like a recommitting because the quarantine is really just... Okay, here comes the curry train. Choo-choo-choo-choo-choo-choo! Oh, you got him happy. You got him excited. We're, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll chat later. Chat later, yeah. What should we have for after dinner snack? Okay, for my after dinner snack, I'm gonna have some raspberries and this nut butter pouch. It's macadamia nut, coconut, and almond butter, and it's three tablespoons. And if you're like us, you probably watched like most of the popular Netflix and Hulu and all those type of shows, but we got a couple gems for you that we found lately. We've been diving deep. Strangers on Netflix. I guess that's not really that deep, right? People have seen that. We just started Strangers. It's pretty good. And then Couples Therapy. It's on Amazon Prime. I think it's on maybe Showtime or something. Oh, maybe. It's like a show where you actually sit in on a couple's therapy. And it's really, Whoa. it really is like, gets you talking. Yeah. It really gets you talking. Yeah. It really gets you talking. And Mega has been watching like this really terrible, like extreme tag show on Hulu. 
No, I said you can show them what I'm doing. I know, but you've been watching Extreme Tech. We have literally watched the episode together. You put it on. Yeah, and you were really into it. You wouldn't even go upstairs to read because you were so into it. JJ Watt's a surprisingly good announcer. Host. At first, I was like, oh my gosh, this guy's terrible, but he made some funny jokes. So right now, this is how I freeze Theo's boots, and then you can just pop a couple out, and you can microwave them, and that is like lunch, breakfast, dinner. So this is what I'm having post-dinner, this chocolate that I've been having every single night, 100% cacao, it's super good. And once you cut out the sweeteners, this like tastes pretty sweet to me because it also has some coconut flakes, which are slightly sweet. And then there's just this nut butter packet. And that's that. That's a wrap. Theo's playing in his toy box, naked. Oh, and we got a new couch. Oh yeah, I like it. I guess that's it for today, guys. If you're interested in the challenge, sign up to our email list. There will be more updates on the email list. You can get to there from our homepage, ketoconnect.net. Go down a little bit, sign up, get newsletter every week. Uh, but that's it. Thanks for watching.